right, so we're going deep on this one. Um, the premiere of Rust, finally, three years after, well, you know. Uh, yeah, a lot to unpack there. The shooting on set, the death of Helena Hutchins, the legal battles, all of it. I mean, you've all been following along. Right. And then they choose to premiere it at Kameramage. Yeah. A whole film festival dedicated to, like, the art of cinematography. It couldn't be more loaded, could it? Talk about a direct tribute, right? Yeah. To Hutchins and her work. Absolutely. Very deliberate. In fact, they opened the premiere with a moment of silence for Hutchins. Wow. Set the tone right away, you know. And Joel Souza, the director, he was hesitant to even finish the film, understandably, right? Yeah. Still so much trauma from that day. But Matthew Hutchins, Helena's husband, he actually encouraged Sousa to finish it, saw it as a way to like preserve her work, make sure it wasn't just, you know, overshadowed by the tragedy. It's like taking something born from this horrible event and turning it into, I don't know, a celebration almost. Exactly. Of her life, her art, and the film itself. It's a Western classic setup. A young boy and his grandfather, played by Alec Baldwin, 1880s Wyoming. Lots of, you know, typical Western stuff, gunfights, showdowns. Which, given what happened, makes it even more, I don't That's know. Slingant. Yeah, something like that. And then there's Bianca Klein, the cinematographer who stepped in to finish it. Oh, Klein, yeah. She described working on it as this, like, dance duet with Hutchins across time and circumstance. That's a good way to put it. Klein studied all the existing footage so carefully, you know, trying to get Hutchins' visual style down. Mm -hmm. She even used some of the same techniques. Hutchins loved playing with light and shadow. You can see that in the film. It's got this haunting quality almost. Hmm, interesting. But can you imagine the pressure taking on a project like that? Oh, absolutely. With all the scrutiny, carrying the weight of someone else's vision. Yeah, and weaving it into your own too. It's a lot. Klein's dedication is incredible, but it also kind of highlights how mixed the reactions to the film have been. Right. Like Olga Solovy, Hutchins' mother, she boycotted the premiere, accused Baldwin of not taking responsibility for what happened. Yeah, I read about that. Makes you realize, for some people, it's still so raw, you know, and justice feels, I don't know, very far off. Yeah. But then you have people like Rachel Mason, a filmmaker who was friends with Hutchins. Mm -hmm. She praised the whole cast and crew for their courage in finishing the film, saw it as an act of love, a testament to their commitment to Hutchins. It's fascinating, right? How two people can have such different, even opposing views. Totally. It shows how complex grief is, how differently we all process trauma, yeah. especially when it's so public, you know? tied up with legal battles and everything. Speaking of which, those legal battles are still going on, right? Right. The involuntary manslaughter charge against Baldwin, that was dismissed because of, like, errors with the prosecution. Yeah. But Hutchins' family still has civil lawsuits pending. It feels like this film has become so much bigger than just a movie. Yeah. You know? It's a symbol, for sure. A life cut short, the risks of filmmaking. But it also forces us to ask, like, who's accountable? How do we make things safer on set? That line between art and, well, protecting people. Yeah, it's not always clear cut. So what I'm seeing is Rust has really sparked a bigger conversation in the industry, hasn't it? Definitely. Filmmakers, studios, unions, they're all reevaluating safety protocols, wondering if what they're doing is enough. It's a wake-up call. In a way, yeah. There's more awareness now, I think, that no creative vision should cost a life. So in the end, Rust might be less about the actual story it tells and more about what it makes us think about. Its legacy, yeah. Could be the changes it inspires. More responsibility, more safety. Okay, so let's wrap this up. Rust, a film completely intertwined with tragedy. It's a tribute, a reminder of loss, but also maybe a push for change. And a lot of tough questions. About accountability, risk, how far we're willing to go for art. But it also reminds us that sometimes those stories behind the camera they're just as powerful, mm -hmm. maybe even more important than what we see on screen. Definitely something to think about. Absolutely. Yeah.